Hello everyone, and welcome to Crashlands. Uh, it's a game that has RPG elements, ARPG elements, and survival. It sounded very interesting. It's also got a very high rating, so I thought that I would give it a shot. So choose your adventure. Story more experience. Story of Flux Dabes, interstellar delivery driver, as she undertakes an epic journey to get her packages delivered. Includes tutorial and recommended for all new players. Oh, so that's the only mode that I can oh, go with. Let's try it out then. Ah, okay. So choose your difficulty. Exploration, combat difficulty has been reduced so you can face focus on exploring and building. Combat should provide a fun but manageable challenge. Yeah, I'm not really great with combat so I'm just gonna stick with adventure. Name your save. Oh, okay. Thank you. Bureau of Shipping. Shipment, shipping, ship. Yes, SS, SS. Okay. Transporter, Flux Dabes. Supervisor, Pallet Unit 42A, Juice Box. BSS, SS. Uh, Query contract 432547. Contract requirements deliver three packages. Sounds easy, doesn't it? And then I said, hey, that's not a USB port. <laughs> okay. Ha 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 USB port, my sides. <laughs> hey, did I hear you laughing? You've got packages to deliver. Laughter impedes productivity. No, sir. Flux was choking. That sounded like a titter. <laughs> nope, she's totally choking. We'll see who's choking when I cut 5% from your pension. Was there something you needed, sir? I need a status report on your package delivery. Two weeks until we arrive, everything is on schedule. Good. And remember, those packages can't have a scratch on them. This isn't our first rodeo, sir. <laughs> okay. Something just popped our warp bubble. We've stopped moving. Engines must be dead. That shouldn't even be possible. Let's get the engines restarted. Slap that control panel to your left. Wait. <laughs> I love the way Flux Dabes runs. Uh, that didn't do anything. Did you make sure it's plugged in? Well, hello there, space travelers. Welcome to planet Wono. Oh god, what are you? I'm Hugo Dooku. <laughs> you can call me Hugo Dooku because, as I said, my name is Hugo Dooku. Sorry to pull your little space truck out of space warp like that, but I needed a spa quick space favor. We're on a pretty tight schedule, floaty head guy. Hugo Dugu. <clears throat> I'm working on a little project, but I need a quantum electro dongle. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? We do, but it's part of our ship. Removing it would cause the ship to explode. So exploding the ship would cause the electro dongle to be removed? <laughs> that logic checks out. Great! Well, that can't be a good start. Remind me to replace your judge of character chip. No time for finger pointing! We'll revisit this later to the escape pod. First things first, save the packages. Your pension won't be worth anything without them. Alright. So I'm guessing that these are the packages. One down, two to go. Let me just open these doors here. Beep boop! Oh! Okay. These electric shocks look deadly. Be careful. Wait, that's where's the other box? Okay, that's the door. Wait, what the heck? Okay, that's the door. But I don't want to... Oh, right, okay. I need to time it, do I? Alright. Fine. Okay, got that. One left. Head back to the upper room. Grab the space wrench and then hit those shocking barricades until they explode. Alright. Oops. Alright, let's go. 
Sí. Ok, a cortar. Ok, to care that one. Ok. Got that one. Done. Now let's go to the escape pod at the back of the ship before this whole thing goes BOOM! Ok. Oops. Probably shouldn't have walked into that one. Flux, we don't have time for that. What was I doing? There's always time for pie. Space duck pies can heal my wounds and they're delicious. Wait. Then less talk of feelings and more grabbing of pies. We gotta go. Am I going the wrong way? Is that what they're complaining about? Oh, pies. Okay, here, pie. Pie. What are you waiting for? Get the packages to the escape pod. Isn't this the escape pod? Is that an escape pod? Nope. Oh, more pies. Space duck, space... Oh, what's that? Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, juice box. I didn't mean... I didn't realize that was you. There we go. Wait, let me read one of those. There we go. I'll need you to hold my wrench juice box. We'll be coming in hot. Wait, didn't... Did it eat another one of those? Did she eat another one of those? That like auto heal? Right, this is the opening screen. Thank you. Gotta admit, I'm not a huge fan of reading so much stuff out, but hopefully we don't have that much to read. What a majestic landing flux. Wheezing. <laughs> I think I used up a kidney on the dismount. Well, you've still got one left. Let's finish this delivery. What about that alien maniac who just blew up the ship? We just need to contact the Bureau of Shipping so they can send a space rescue space truck before he shows up again. So, we'll need to build an advanced comm device. With sticks and flowers, guess we should get a base of operations started. This will take some doing. I'll deploy the survival station just south of the escape pod. Why don't you make some floors out of the sawgrass? Throw, throw some blades into the survival station to build them. Crafty contact. Okay. So, so far, the story has a bit of a Factorio vibe. Which I love, because I love Factorio. I've played, I've put a few hundred hours worth of time into Factorio so far. So, what am I doing here? New compendium entry, Kib Weedle. So that's the survival thingamy. And I've got, what's going on? Uh, construction times 10 thatched saw floor. How does, oh, I need six out of 10. Okay, I've only got six. And I can't pick the other ones because they're not unlocked yet. Okay, I've got a thatched wall. Okay, fine. Seems straightforward enough. I'm curious about the compendium though, menu. Uh, no. What's this? BSSSSSS5, you're using the trusty Bureau of Shipping Self-Sustaining Survival Station Series S5. I'll get you started. It'll get you started on this hostile alien planet. Thatched saw floors. Oh, is that like... Oh, that's what it's got selected in there. Okay. I'm curious about the compendium. Generating map. Okay, so that's the map. Okay, I don't need to redraw it. So that's zoom. Okay. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. So that just brings me back home. That's cool. Floor mode. You have no floors to place. Okay. What's that? Oh, that must be the compendium. Um, okay. That's a lot of text. So these are the quests. Uh, what about the alien meeting? Okay. We've, we know this stuff already. Okay, data, sawgrass is a super sharp and firm yet flexible and it tastes some, 
somewhat like lightly toasted marshmallows with a smattering of beef. That's an interesting combination. Bacon weed. These pretty flowers have a tantalizing aroma, restores 81 HP. That sounds good. How much HP do I have in total? And kibweed. The, lo the local creatures are fascinated by this little plant. What's my total amount of health? Uh, health 50. So if it restores 81 health, that's pretty good. All right, I don't have to click. I can use the keyboard as well. Okay. I'm hoping that at some point I'll move faster. Okay. Got a stick there. Another stick there. So I'm going to need 10 floors. And this one construction, how many does, how many floors does that build? Wait, why does it still say 8 out of 10? Okay, that's 10 out of 10. I didn't get any from those ones. So I've got 10 out of 10 built. So it builds 10. Okay. Poke to retrieve finished items. Okay, thank you. Close. Now use build mode to put those down. Okay. This is the hammer icon on the bottom left of this visor's interface. I swear they change the UI with every update. Yep, just open that up and put down some flooring. All right. We sort of accidentally figured that out from our previous exploration. So what are with these X's? Okay. Um, maybe if it's 10, maybe I should do, and oh no, I don't want it to be that narrow. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, close. Nice. Hey, I see some tree-like things out in the distance. You could cut those down for wood. Let me use my analysis engine to design a good tool. Here! Your visor tracks the materials you need in the upper right corner. Now get to building this thing. Booyah! Time to make that locally sourced saw. Ooh, what's this? Okay. Schematic discovered. Sawgrass saw. <laughs> sawgrass saw. Maybe I shouldn't have put the floor around that. Huh? Oh, so that's what the crosses were. They were showing areas where there are already things. Something is on it. Okay. So maybe. Okay, let's put it over here. Yeah, so it's not waste um what am i looking for i'm looking for a sawgrass saw for which i need some sticks Ooh. oh flux needs a saw to cut this i thought i got injured there so i need some sticks i've got enough sticks now and i just need some sawgrass okay okay i need five more easy enough in case you guys haven't figured it out already, I have never played this game before, so this is brand new. Is that friendly or unfriendly? Looks... doesn't look unfriendly. Although it has big teeth. Needs a saw for those, okay. I don't feel brave. Womp it! Okay. Safe enough. Oops. I think I just killed the wee animal. Sorry. Okay, we've got enough of that. I think, though, uh, I think that I need to... I saw a made of sawgrass. So sawgrass, tier one saw, a saw made of sawgrass. This is the mediumest quality saw you've ever seen, but it should let you chop down log, log trees and whistle roots. Cool, build. Poke to the tree finished items. <laughs> that had a totally a borderline swipe there. Maybe just me. Check out my saw, it's, it's sawsome. <laughs> nice. Hey, wait a sec, where'd it go? Whenever you need it, your suit will teleport it right into your hand. That's handy. 
Guess I was doodling during that meeting. Neat. Why don't you doodle a sawmill into existence then? We'll need better stations to get a proper comm device built anyway. Ah yes, a sawmill will let us harness the power of wood. Would it though? <laughs> would it? <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> How can I tell if I have enough of the parts for it when I'm out exploring? Slap the enormous track button next to build when you're inside the survival station. That'll put the components on your HUD. Sweet. It's like a grocery, grocery list burned into my eyes. I'll do that before heading out. All right. So let's do that. Schematic discovered. Sawmill. And where's the track button? Track. Okay, close. So we need sawgrass. Yep, and wood. Log. A round piece of wood harvested from the log tree plant. You've never seen anything like it. Is that a log tree plant? That's whistle root. I think I saw one here. Here, so there's log tree. I'm assuming that's log tree because it looks like a log in a tree. There we go, log tree. Might as well do these while we are ab about. We're gonna need some whistle grass, not whistle grass, saw blades as well. That's not how you use a saw, by the way. That's absolutely not how you use a saw. I think somebody needs to tell you how to use a saw, my friend. It's not a stick. <laughs> okay. I had a lot of those creatures here. Thankfully, they're safe. At least for now. Ooh, okay. So what do we need? We need more of the sawgrass and more of the wood. Oops, oops. I think I pissed that one off. Why? Sorry, friend. Hey, come on, you weren't attacking me earlier. Is it because I have a weapon now? It's hard to see out here. Well, yeah, it's a thing called, it's this, this is, it's this thing called darkness. I'm going to need some light so I don't fall into a horrible alien filled pit. Let me see. Boop, boop, boop. Scanning for ship debris. Hoo hoo. One of the lamps from the ship landed somewhere nearby. I marked its probable area. It's in on your map so you can find it. Hit the map icon on the bottom left corner of your visor to see where the light source is. Then like that meaty body of yours over to it. Okay, let us do that. Wait, what is that? But where's the... where's... Wait. You're not helping. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I take that back. Light source. Okay, why don't you give me a bigger area so I can search for the rest of my life? I don't mind at all searching for this light source for the rest of my life. Oh, wait! No, take that back. I found it. Ah, looks like it's on a small island. It's on a little island. I can't swim. Build them. Build some floors and make a bridge. Ah, I wish I'd left one of those floors with me. Ooh, Firefly. Amazing TV show. Firefly, that is. So that's 10 out of 14, 10 out of 13. I can get some more of the saw blades here. Is it saw blades? Saw grass. Fourteen of fourteen. Um, okay, our base is just about. Oh, look at those little creatures! Look at those little creatures! Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. I should stop killing them. Wait, I don't need to actually do that. I just want to do this and take a couple of those off, and then I can go over here. And hopefully, I can find some wood on the way as well. I don't want to get too close to these wampets because that seems to piss them off. Hello, little friends. Okay. Uh, and there we go. That's actually all we need. We just only needed one. This thing is bright. What if I want to whip my saw out and chop down more log trees? 
your torch goes into a special slot in your suit. It'll equip whenever it gets dark, so you don't need to worry about scary night time. Best night light ever. That would be really cool. So that's another quest completed. I see some log trees over there. Oh, there's one over here. Thank you. Oh, we got some sawdust as well. Looks like you've got everything you need, but your harvesting trips are starting to stray pretty far from the ship. Yeah, I'm getting tired of walking back all the time to build stuff. True that. You forgot about the ship teleporter, didn't you? You can teleport to the ship from the map. Give it to go. I'll teleport with you. Teleportation buddies! All right, Flux. We actually did do this earlier by accident. So let's do that again. That is helpful. Although we'll need to get all the way out there again. But that's, you know, half the problem. Problem halved is a problem solved. I don't know if that's true. Um, build. Retrieve. Station assembled. Okay. Oh, I can. Oh, wow. Okay. I can build a whole bunch of things there. Uh, this workbench with a circular saw will allow you to craft all kinds of wooden masterpieces. Okay. Whoa! So many things to build. Time to wrap the old sawhorse. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? It's in your suit. Use the build mode and hit the infinity symbol to access all the structures you've got stored in there. Then you can select the sawmill and pull it, put it when, wherever there's some sturdy flooring. Okay. Build. Infinity symbol. Ooh, what's this? Log tree seed. Oh, that is so cool. I love farming in games. Well, I don't know. Maybe in real life too. I've never tried it. Sawgrass seed. That is so cool. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I can plonk that there. Okay. Can I plonk this? Can only be f placed in fertile dirt. <laughs> fertile dirt. Huh, okay, maybe we can make some. Blah blam! Blah bam! Hey juice box, I feel like we're being watched. Do you think Hudoku? Hugudoku is out there? Undoubtedly. But he probably thinks we explored it, which should buy us some prep time. I'd feel better with some armor, both for dealing with Hugo and those stomping beasts. Why don't you start with a wooden chest plate? Protect that one kidney of yours. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for sentient life. According to Bureaupedia, uh, nice, like the Tendram, half goat, half, half plant creatures live here. Oh, interesting. Wood plated steel. Okay. Wood plated steel. Okay, so that's being made there. So, no. This one. No. Nope. Wooden floor. Oh, that's wooden floor. I think the other one was like sawgrass floor. Wooden writable sign. Wooden pole door. Wooden wall. Log hat. Wood mitts. Wood mitts. Okay, so that's a hat. These are gloves. Boots. Now you're crafting with wampet parts. <laughs> Log nest. Wait, where is the... I'm confused. It says sawmill. What's this? Log chest. Ah, level one chest plate, but I didn't see it here. Wooden wall. Log nests, log boots, wood mitts. So how would I build it? Is it in here? Past soft floor. I'm really confused. Sawmill, which I have here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know why. Because I actually have to do that. Now we have it. Log chest. Now it must be in here. Log chest. There we go. So for that, we need some wood. And what is that? Sawgrass leaf. Oh. What was the other thing we were using before? That was also sawgrass, but something else sawgrass. Ooh, what's that? Is that fish? Oh, fishing pole. Okay. Again, reminds me of factory. Okay, you know what? We've already been to this bit before. Let's go around the other side and see what's over there. Huh. 
sawgrass. Do these things take damage? As in, do they uh, need repair after some time, like my saw? Uh, I'm not looking for any of these things. I'm looking for the log trees. Yep, I see one over here. How many do we? Oh, we need quite a bit. Okay. Uh, do I have unlimited inventory? Probably not. But I haven't actually seen inventory yet. Womp it. All right, Wompit, don't attack me now. Whatever, please. Ooh. Right, so we've got five. Oh my word, this is gonna take some times. Hello, Wompit. Oops. More. I want to plant these and then grow these and then chop them down. When it said sawmill, for some reason I thought it was like a lumber yard that it would grow trees and then you could chop them down. But clearly that's not what a sawmill is. Okay, do you think that'll give us the two we need? It does. Huh, all right, let's take the shortcut home. All right, how about a chest plate? Um, build. Poke. Okay, so, so wait. Uh, log chest of toxicity, health 34, toughness 13.5%, poison 3%. Okay, so when we picked it up, it got other stats. So what happens now? By the power of wood, I am now protected. I need to figure out how to stop those creatures from killing me. They are mighty aggressive. Ooh, I bet you could get all kinds of useful parts out of these hideous beasts. Fire up that analytic engine of yours and find out how to make something stabby with the parts we have. Ooh. <laughs> A proper shank for a proper delivery driver. Get it built. Okay. S schematic discovered sawgrass sword. So I'm making that in here as well. I see it. Oh, I can build. Oh, okay, so this is a queue. Interesting. So, oh my word, more logwood. Log tree. Wait, is that a hole? What is the oh, and that's manure or is dirt? We haven't been up. We haven't been north yet. Ooh, hello, Wompit. I don't actually know what their names are. I just feel like as I'm walking past these, I want to just pick it up. Uh, I think we'll probably be okay. Get that one. So that's five out of 17. Thank you for not stomping on me. Maybe they should be called Stompits. Hey, Stompit. Ooh, schematic. What is that? Bureau scroll. That sounds cool. We'll find out about it later. Quite like this game. It's not quite Factorio, but let's see how we get on. Ooh, now all we need is sawgrass, actually. Let's get some of that. And while we're here, let's pick up that log tree as well. Might as well. Oh, we've got everything we need. Might as well pick up some of these things while we're here. And do a little bit of exploration. Alright, that's fine. Let's go back home. Okay. 
So let's make ourselves a stabby stabby. Level one sword, a sword made of grass. This will end well for you. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. Ooh, we found this one. Bureau scroll. With the power of writing on wood pulp, you are now able to convey your love towards the Bureau of Shipping. What the hell? What would be the point of that? Okay, book. Ooh. Satisfying sawgrass sword of toasting. Sexy. Damage per second, 57. That sounds healthy. Considering that my health is about that much. Taste my blade. What does it taste like? <laughs> Celery, actually. Oh, interesting. Hmm. We'll need a better station to make that calm device. Those beasts look like they have good hides on them. Take some of their leathery skin bits and build us a skinnery. What? Sorry, I was doodling. Did you say something? <laughs> Just defeat some of those wampets and build us a skinnery, Flux. You'll need some new parts, maybe from those grayish reeds near water. What if I don't want to poke them with the sword? Then you can crush or slice them. Let me use my analytical engine and uh, get it done. Uh. <laughs> okay, new quest. The best defense is a good offense. Agreed. Ooh, what the heck? That's a Grax. Okay. And that is a hammer. Deadwood. Okay. So we need... Okay, I've already picked up some of these things, which is the whistle root reed. So we're going to need some wampet bones and some wampet leather. Now, I must tell you, I'm a vegan, so I don't like the idea of killing animals. But for my survival, that's understandable. Ooh, what the hell? Whistleroot borer. I, I think that's an animal. So, will I automatically pick out the sword when I want to attack something? We will find out soon enough. Soon enough. Now we're going south for a bit of exploration. Hello, Mr. Wompit or Miss Wompit. Ooh! Poor thing, I'm sorry, Wompit. But I gotta kill you. You get a good look at that thing, juice box. Full analysis complete. Bureaupedia calls them Wompits. Stomp happy creatures that love sawgrass. Since you uh, dissected it, I was able to learn what makes them tick. I'll add my findings of their weakness to your compendium. It's that book icon at the bottom left of your visor. I'll, it'll, I'll keep the log of all your tasks separate so you don't get confused. Thank you. Excellent! Keep those analyses rolling. So, that's the book. Okay, we know this stuff. Where did we go for data? Here we go. So, womp it. Oh, wait. All right, it skipped all of these because there's nothing in them. Womp it. These bouncy critters can be found all over the savannah. Oh, there are different types. They can usually be found munching on sawgrass with their tough, flat teeth. Physical damage with sporadic rapid attacks. Oh, I've not seen these rapid attacks yet, I don't think. Um, toughness, 0%. Poison resist. Oh, they've got 50% poison and fire resist. So my sword, it'll be only half effective. Symbiosis, brawling. When this creature is domesticated. Oh, you can domesticate creatures. That's cool. Uh, and at your side, it provides the following buffs. Normal, toughness, 7%. Bicep power, 3%. Powerful. I think this is the difficulty levels. That's interesting. In higher difficulty, it provides you with more bonus. Huh. Drops. Wampet leather, wampet bone, wampet sinew, wampet toenail, and intact wampet heart. Interesting. So, what were the other ones? Did we already... Oh, yeah. We already looked at bacon weed. 81 HP. Log tree. This tree appears to be made of logs. You wonder what the people back home would make of this. Okay, we've got some sawdust log and log tree seed. Whistle root. This plant makes hilarious squealing noises as the, as the wind blows through it. Each plant makes a unique pitch. Fascinating. Whistle borer. Ooh, spood beast. They look so cute. Whistle root reed. Kibweed. The local. Oh yeah, we already read this one. 
All right. We're gonna have to kill some more of those wampets, sadly. With tears in my eyes. Hello, wampet. Oops. Run away and then go back and attack and then run away. There we go. These wampets are dangerous. Hey, juice box, still have my space wrench? Yeah, why? I bet I could stun a wampet with it if I throw it hard enough. Great idea, just select it on your action bar and you can hurl it at your enemies on the next attack. What if all my action slots are filled up? Open up your suit manager, poke the slot you, slot you want to switch the space wrench into and hit equip. Simple as pie flux. Then you can whip it out in combat and stun these beasts. Kind of like at the office par party when Will... Yep, got the picture, thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the space wrench is already there, so... So what does that do? Okay. That was perhaps effect. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so now I've got to wait six seconds for it to come back. To recharge. Whatever that means in this context. Stun. Hit. Kill. Kill. Ooh, so that was effective. Well, that was helpful because we got a bunch of leather there. Still need a bunch of bones. As I'm going past these, I might as well clear these out. Curious though, do they grow back? I, I sure hope they do. Otherwise, we're going to have just a clear bit of land here. We'll need to go even further and further to be able to pick anything up. Ooh, dang. Might not want to mess with that. Or might I want to give it a try? Butterfly worker. Oof. One hit and I'm dead. Oh man. Shit. Does that mean that I have to go back down and pick up all my crap? I'm sorry for attacking ya. Wait, did I lose my sword? Oh wait, I don't have any health. Okay, so I do have an inventory. It's just I, as usual. Hi. Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, actually, I only want bacon weed. 81 HP over... Oh, I forgot how many seconds. Let me check if I still have my sword. I don't think I... I don't know if... Do I? Ooh, you are a rapid attacking now. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do. Wait, why is it taking so much longer to kill this guy now? Wampet toenail. Thanks for that. Okay, so... How do... Okay, there's my body. My body. Let's pick all that stuff up. Okay, thank you. Okay, stun, then attack. There we go. I need a better weapon. But that's okay. I feel like my weapon got damaged in that. Yeah, my weapon is still here. Eh? Why does it say you have no weapons in your inventory? Oh, I have no other weapons to pick from. Okay. Wait, let me just check something. So this is only this stuff. What about all my stuff that I've collected? Oh, this is just what I've got equipped. Interesting. All right, Wampet. Oh, Wampet Heifer. Oh, I don't think I want to kill that. That would make me feel really bad. Wampet, I might be able to cope with. Okay, got it. Wood. Ooh, and a blueprint. Ooh, what is that? A wooden table. Huh. Okay. 
Stun! Stun attack! Oh, put the way. Done. Okay, so we need one more bone. Maybe with this lone wampet over here. Okay, stunned. Ooh, out the way. There we go. Wampet sinew. Crystallized juice. That sounds interesting. Do I have everything? Oh no, I need some of those whistle weeds. Or whistle trees. Whistle root. <laughs> okay. I need three more whistle roots. Ooh, more crystallized juice. Interesting. We might take care of some of these wampets along the way, but not when they're bunched up. Ooh, bleed 14 damage. All right. Let's, oops. Out the circle. Okay. Just as we're going past them, we're just gonna take care of them. Ooh, I need some help. Three. Oops, no. That one. 81 over 10 seconds, okay. Ooh, what the heck is that? I don't know. Turbo speed, oh, 50% for 60 seconds. Okay. It's another one down. I need to find some whistle root though. Oh, it looks like we found some. When did that happen? Was I not paying attention? Okay. And then let's go home. So that was over here. Yeah, the skinnery build. Oh! Assembled. Okay, so we can make a whole bunch of other things from that. Okay, now if I remember rightly, I click there, then I click infinity. Oh, it's no infi oh, it's already clicked. Oh, what does that mean? Huh. What does that mean? Resurrect in peace. But this is where I resurrect anyway. But we'll try it. Skinnery. Yes, please. Plus. The skinnery is creepy. It is a bit creepy and effective. You'll need more powerful weapons and armor to fight the beasts around here. See what new weapons you can build. There's a saw board in here I could put together. Well, if you want to track a recipe from one of the stations at the track button, yeah, I remember this. I bet there's a ton of stuff to build and discover around here. I wonder why the Bureau never fully explored this place. There must be a reason. Not the time for silly questions, Flux. We've got to build that comms device and deliver these packages. Well, yeah. Think I'd give up my employee of the month streak or take a pension cut? No way. We'll need something to broadcast the signal. Let me scan for a crystal resonator. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Convenient. There's an extremely resonant substance nearby. We could use it as a transmitter for our device. Throw the location on the map and I'll check it out. When I feel like it. New quest. To power pole. To power pole. So, this is for a skinnery, which I've already crafted. So what all do we have here? We have a Womp Hat. <laughs> this will protect your scalp from almost the mightiest of touches. Womp Vest, level three chest plate. That sounds quite nice. If you plan to run a marathon, mara marathon, no, marathon, be sure to bring tape. Wompy gloves, level three gloves. Nothing warms your hands up like the skin of animals. Uh, Womp Pants. Level 3 boots. These leggings really show off your better features. Saw board. Level 2 axe. This bad boy is 100% certified organic. Organically deadly. Ooh. Okay. That sounds interesting. I need a few more bones for that. Ribber. Level 2 sword. Are these both level? Yeah, it's also level 2. 
uh, one of the top five most sophisticated weapons ever conceived. And we've got a foot mallet, level two hammer, punching faces with feet. <laughs> Has never been easier. Basic glue. It's sticky, like glue should be. And a bomb. It sticks to everything, to death. Deals 75% of your DPS as physical damage. Interesting. So this one is quite interesting because I only need two more bones for it. So track. Close. Uh, there were a whole bunch of wampets over here. Let's see if we can get those guys. Womp womp. Attack! One. There we go. Stun them. Run out the way. And then... Ooh, what's the blue soul? Is that their rapid attacks? Okay, we've got everything we need. Wampet dice. Poor guy. Sad times. So, over here. And we have that. And then we just build it. Oak. Ooh, excellent sawboard of transfusions. So it obviously doesn't do any burn and it doesn't do any bleed, uh, but it has berserk. Huh, interesting. I wonder what that does. It does fewer attacks and its damage is, oh yeah, it does more damage though. Damage per hit is higher too. Move speed is higher, that's interesting. Vampire could be very helpful. Let's equip that. And what do we want to build next? Let's build um, a Womp Vest. Can I track multiple things? Oh no, I can only track one thing. What's that? Wompet Sinew, okay. So let's just kill, the, kill a few Wompets because I think we're gonna need that to build uh, upgrades for our armor, for all of our armor. So, hey, there were a whole bunch of wampets here. There you are. But in the meantime, thank you. Let's try not to get cocky. With the weight. There we go. Ooh. What is that? Is that a pillow? A leather throw pillow, okay. There we go. That was actually quite good. Stun them right when they're about to jump. But I need to wait for that recharge first. Okay. There we go. Ooh, plus 40% attack speed. I think that worked. So, you know, stun them just when they're about to jump or when they're jumping. Oops, forgot that needed to recharge. And then that takes care of them for a little while. Until you can kill them, actually. There we go. Didn't do the jump, and then they're dead. Ooh, that's a Wampet Heifer. Don't want to kill those. Is that also a Wampet Heifer? Yeah, it is. Let's just kill regular Wampets. There we go. Killed it in the air. Ooh, what the heck is that? Something that's probably going to kill me. How do I know how difficult they are to kill without getting killed in the process? Glor... Oh, glo... <laughs> Glido... Plus Hatchling. Interesting. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff now. care of that one. Not a fan of killing, but needs must, right? Is there leveling up in this game? I'm guessing not. It said ARPG, but didn't see any leveling up options. Find that resonance source flux. Sorry, I didn't mean to click on that guy. Let's see. Power pole. Okay, that's over here. I'm really going in the wrong direction if I want to be making my way over there. But, ooh, 
That's interesting stuff over there for sure. For sure. Build, please. I didn't get very many sinews. I will need to worry about that later. Okay, so gloves. And okay, I'm gonna need more things. So, oh, it has less toughness and no poison. That's fine. Oh, wait. Oh, this one has poison as opposed to poison resist. This one does. That's strange. Okay, that one definitely seems superior. That one should be good because I don't have anything in my gloves slot. So I've got chest, gloves, and I would I should like some leg armor. And ooh, that needs 15 for the hat. Plus the nine. Plus the ten bones. So I'm gonna need 15, 16, plus 10 bones. Huh. Okay. So I'm gonna to have to put together a lot of wait. Let's go down to the power pool area. Might as well. While we're collecting these goodies. Oops. I pissed off two of them at the same time. Not the smartest move. Definitely not, but we're counting on the armor that we've got. Where's that glowy bag chair? Huh. They seem more vanity items rather than anything useful, sadly. There we go. Finish that one there, right there. Oops. There we go. Ooh, you coming for me, are you? Ah, wanted to move out of the way. There, sorted. Get rid of this one. So I'm guessing that there is, there are more levels of weapons and stuff that's going to be happening that we're going to be able to unlock at some point. But I can upgrade to all of the, ooh, heifer. Don't want to kill one of those. I don't know, I just feel bad killing a mother. Let's check the map. Is it a mini map? Nope. Well, not that I can see. <sighs> Glidopus. It looks so sad. I mean, honestly, just look how sad it looks. Glidopus hatchling. I don't know. Should I attack them? I've got some armor. I mean, the other one killed me in like one hit. So I'm not sure. Is that a hatchling? Okay, hatchling. Okay. Oof, okay. They are a bit dangerous, for sure. Okay. Heal. Yeah, definitely don't want to be messing with them. Oh, did we both die at the same time? Uh, I think we did. Yeah, so at least we know the answer to that question. Wait, what's our equipment situation? Not bad. Uh, yeah, it's all properly equipped. Oh wait, does this mean that I could... Do I heal naturally? Sorry, I got distracted. Um, so I could upgrade. So I was going to get myself... Uh, what is this? Warm pants, yes. So let's get ourselves warm pants and track that since we are here anyway okay now i wish i could teleport to my body 
my dead broken body um 11 p.m oh dirt it seems to be that i have an infinite amount of inventory space so far which i'm quite happy about so i don't have to worry about inventory management um ooh, got killed by one of those already don't want that murder again wampets Okay, let's take you out. Another one. What's that? Leather bag chair. Eh. Again, oof, health. I'd forgotten to actually <laughs> heal. Sorry, Wampet Mama. Hey, what's going on? Not hugely thrilled about where I am. Where is my... What is that? Telepad? Oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, my body's up over there. So the compass on the bottom right what is that pointing to oh okay that, is, that was pointing to my body so i'm not going to try killing those guys because they seem a bit on the dangerous side a bit more dangerous than i can. it's not that i can't necessarily handle them but it would involve a lot of effort and i clearly died on oh, that was not a full-fledged one that was a mini one fluid full-fledged one would almost certainly kill me in like one hit so I'll say no thank you. Wampets on the other hand. Uh, killing with near impunity here. Where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going for the power pole. All right. Power pole is to the east from there. Ooh, what are these things? Okay, not those things. I'll get those things get that but what's that oh i need a pickaxe okay okay is that a baseball leather ball okay so oh wait 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 why the heck is that guy attacking me i didn't do anything to them Ooh, what's over here the pickaxe to break that okay okay power pole is over here somewhere i wish there was a mini map i think that could be super helpful wait can i do that no i can't set a marker on there i was hoping that i could set a marker and then i could just follow the compass thing that showed up earlier okay Nice power pole a bit to the north. Oh, mama. Looks like a big one. Yeah, butterfly queen. No, thank you. No, thank you very much. Okay, I need to go around somehow, though. Seems like very dangerous waters. Well, well there is no water. Now, don't I miss the times when it was just covered with wampets? Ooh, look, 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 look. Found a teleporter and I found these trees. I think they're just log trees, but they look a bit different. Telepad, nice. Oh my word, look at these creatures. Look at this one. What is that? Oh, I don't want to attack it. What the hell? Is that a whole house? Huh. Power pole. What the heck? What is that? Oh! Sorry! Love be like the box of something. I missed it. I don't want to... 
Can you feel the power? No. The crystal calls to me. It is so shiny. For Hugoduku, anything. Yes, yes. Three batteries and the Krakalaka. Hugo Duku, juice box, he's talking about that jerk floaty head and also gibberish. <laughs> hey, that's the resonator I picked up with my scan. We need to get it out of here. I have a suspicion that it's Hugo Hugo's. <laughs> I don't think he's going to approve. Flux is the only way we're going to build the comm and get the packages delivered. We've got to try something. Any purpley. Let's talk outside. Ah, oh no, it's. I purple. Let's talk outside. Okay, let's go talk outside. Can I talk to him without attacking him? <laughs> Thanks for meeting me. Dern's not right in the head. I worry that Crystal does more than just talk to her. We'd be happy to take it off your hands. And I'd be indebted to you for doing so. But I need to know you ain't evil before I swear myself to help. Want to pinky swear? I mean, how do I know you ain't evil? Maybe you and that box are Hugo Duku, Hugo Duku in disguise. Nah, nope. Hugo Duku blew up our ship. Do we look like villains to you? Uh, maybe you you don't look like it, but that box of yours is sure dastardly looking. <laughs> hey! Good old juice box. I made it myself and didn't put in a single dastardly component. Well then, I suppose if you ain't evil, you'd prove it by doing me a favor. Of course, that's how it goes. <laughs> a favor for the crystal? Sounds fair. Well, my old home, a good distance southwest of here, has been overrun by some nasty wampets. You find it, clear it out for Durand and me, and I'll consider you and that box and that box as folks worthy of trust. Deal. All right. So we need to go. Build the test. Well, we need to build the trust of ten ram, but we need to do that. But what's that thing? Can't do anything with that thing. We need to do that by going south. I think. Did he? Did he say south? Should I imagine that? Yep. Pearl's home is over there. We'll get to kill some wampets, so we don't need to worry too much about killing these guys on the way there. Ooh, what's this? Okay, that's a heifer. Ooh, that's just a health thing. Ooh, 422 HP over a large number of seconds. Okay, Burl's home. We can take care of these chaps. Oops. Oof, we're gonna have to take care of them all at the same time. My health was going up pretty nicely, and I got that health thingy. Come on, attack! Okay, one down. Ah! Again! I wasn't paying enough attention. Hey, Juice Box, what if I want to make a home not next to this escape pod? Europedia says there are ancient alien telepaths all over this planet. Their signatures are too, too weak for me to detect unless you get close. But once you find one, a quick slap will let your suit interact with it. Awesome. I'll keep my eyes peeled for some prime real estate. Oh, we did find a few of them and I think I found one pretty nearby there. Yeah, we did. Where's that one? Warp. Then we just need to go south. Have some food. Okay, so this is all of my stuff. That's go. Oh, wait, did they respawn? Oh, that's a heifer. Okay. What am I gonna do about those chaps? I could do with the plan of action here. Oof, that's the problem right there. <laughs> okay. Oof. Okay, that's one down. I 
Okay. Stunned that one for a little while. That helped. And one more. There we go. Ooh, there's an egg. Oh, you smack an egg right out of that wampet. Cool, I could use this to make an enormous breakfast burrito. That hurt my heart a little bit. Or maybe you could hatch it. Imagine your own pet wampet to follow you around and stomp your enemies into splatters. That's a brilliant idea. That sounds gross and awesome. Hmm, I bet if you make an incubator, you could hatch it. Try this. Oh, I've been trying avoiding killing those mamas. Wampet heifers, but that was actually a part of the progress. Okay. Done. Let's get back to Burl and see about that crystal. These packages aren't getting delayed on my watch. Can I take these things? That's not yours to take. Okay. Thank you. Are you going to hatch that baby Wampet or what? Just imagine how cute it's going to be. I am imagining how cute it's going to be. Okay. Makes me feel even worse about killing these creatures. Ah, out the way. Again. There we go. He says as he's killing more of them. Wait, am I going the right direction? Yep. Yippity. No, thank you. Don't want to kill another heifer. Not right now. Maybe later. Power pole. I can see by the splatters on that suit of yours that you've been fighting wampets. They're all gone, Bo. Do you trust our intentions now? Hmm. You need a little something to get the crystal out of the ground. Yeah, we don't have any good pick like tools. Let Burl here take care of that. I'll teach you how to make a classic 10 drum pickaxe. With that tool, we should be able to pick that crystal resonator right out of the ground. Shh, keep that quiet. Don't let Darnt hear you. Why not? That crystal, I think whoever this Hugo, Hugo is, I think he's talking through it. And if that's the case, it might also talk back like a comm device. Oh, interesting. So Hugo might know we're here. Just be quiet about building that pickaxe. Then use it on that crystal all quick like. I'll wait inside. And take this here flower of Marla. It brings luck wherever you place it. So we now have the ability to make a pickaxe. I'm curious about this flower of Marla. Where does that go? That's just a hot bar slot. These are rings. Um, num num. Hatching a beast. Crafty contact. Just be quiet about building the pickaxe. Okay, so no matter what it is, I think that we need to head back to base. Telepad. Oh no, that's not actually what I wanted to do. Oops. Uh, okay, so let's just go straight over there. Warp. I'm going to leave this as my home because that's exactly what I want. Uh, wait. Well, that's just, I don't know what that does. I see that there, but I have no idea. So pickaxe, I think I have everything I need to build this pickaxe. So let's build that for one. And so these are the other things that we found. That's just furniture, furniture, bomb, incubator. I'm going to need some sawgrass blade. That's easy enough. Let's pick up that pickaxe. Tool integrated. <laughs> okay. Uh, sawgrass. It's here. Sawgrass, sawgrass, sawgrass. Oh no, I need to change it. I forgot to retarget. Yep, incubator track. Oh wait, I think we've got everything we need, so let's build it. Um, okay, so that was all here. Here, do we have anything we want to, okay, that's just a table, chair, spoon, pot. Hmm. 
Okay, so plus one Wampet Incubator. So what do I do? Oh wait, okay, so I'm guessing uh, if I go in there, if I go in there, Wampet Incubator, let's pop that over there. And if I switch that, go back to there, I can put a couple more down. Maybe I should keep one with me. You never know when that's going to come in handy. Close. Okay. Bedtime. Just make sure you name it right when it comes out so it imprints on you. Quest complete. Hatching a beast. Wait. Five minutes. Okay. Right. So I didn't check the ingredient list there. So it requires an egg. Huh. <laughs> You'd think wampets wouldn't lay eggs on account of them being mammals. You'd be wrong. Okay. Okay. And we've got the pickaxe as well, which means that we can go right back to there. Warp. Power pole. Let's take that out while we're here. And that, wait. All right, so do we go in now? You got it. I, what happened, Pearl? Turned this here purpley flower done snapped you out some wick out of you out something wicked. I was in a room all metally, kind of like that. That metal box with the face right there. Ah! It's all right, darn. They're friends, both the purpley one and the box. Though the box do look a bit sinister. What is with you guys? Durned, did you see a floaty head wherever you were? He's purple and has a weird helmet thing. I, Hugo Duku, he was talking to me. Kept rambling about something called batteries. Did he say what for? Some science project, perhaps? Something about finding the ancient Krakalaka and warping in some minions. Don't sound too good. Flux, I'm getting a strange surge in my circuits. You wouldn't happen to know where we could find a battery, would you? Uh-oh. Long time no see. Just kidding. I saw you just a second ago through the crystal here. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow your electro dongle. Let you borrow it? You destroyed our ship, ship and left us to die. You look lively enough to me. Did someone say something about batteries? Uh, nope. Not at all. We were talking about... Uh, we're talking about flatteries. <laughs> Pearl was just telling me how good my super laser resistant casing looked. Right, Pearl? What? Yeah, yeah. Such a sleek housing for such a sinister soul. Quite lovely, really. Enough. I'm not buying your nonsense, Pearl. I'm not buying your nonsense. Pearl, where might one find a battery around here? Even if I did know, which I wouldn't tell you. Fair enough. I think you're a bad influence on Durned here. I guess it's time to introduce you to my incentives program. Uh-oh. Whoa! Pearl! No! Now that you have the proper motivation, batteries? Anyone? I don't even know what a battery is. <laughs> oh, why didn't you say so? I'll just keep looking then. <laughs> Raise this tiny root like fist. You go to go! Getting a bit carried away with the voice. Darned. I'm sorry. Well, seemed like a great tendram. Bull just exploded. All that's left is a scorch. He was among the best. Can't believe it. Right here and then just gone. I've jammed the resonance of that crystal so Hugo can't spy on us. That guy is a total maniac. Burl's grandmammy needs to know about what happened here, and I'm afraid you must bear Burl's roots to her. Darned, we've got to get this calm built. If there's a ritual to perform, it's really not our place to... When a tendra passes, the last person who did them a good deed must bear their roots to the remaining family. <laughs> That'd be grandmammy. She lives alone far out. Whoa, whoa, Darned, this really isn't our place. 
It's a strange case, so so it is. But I was too wrapped up in that crystal, so it falls to you. You'll need to bring her a gift, symbolizing Burl. I think making one of those these potted sh sun shrooms from a stone shaper would do right. That pick Burl gave you should be sturdy enough to break through them flat stone boulders for the pieces. We'll get this constructed and give it to Grandmammy, along with Burl's root. Sorry for your loss, but darned. My little pot of sunshine. Alright, a couple more. Got a stone shaper. And a ported sun shroom. Wonder what that does. What's over here? Does that do anything? No. Okay, that's just decorative. Decorative. That doesn't do anything either. What's that? Doesn't do anything. Just breaking some things while I'm hanging out. Now we have a pick. I did we did see some uses for the pick. Not here. It was actually in the other direction. But I was a bit curious as to what might be over here, hence my visiting. Um Ooh, okay. Here's something here. That looks perfect for the pick. Okay, so that's the juice crystals. Crystallized juice. Whatever that does. Wait, was this just where we were at? Yes. Now, if we keep going this way... It doesn't show anything. A wild sterling wampet heifer attacks. Okay. Here we go. Here's some stone. What did that pick up? We got some flat stone. I wonder what that does. Wait, what is that? Stone shaper. For which I need... Oh, I have... I need some log... And I need some flat stone, okay. So logs are fairly straightforward. It's the flat stones that's going to be a bit trickier. Ooh. Although I'm less excited by blueprints nowadays. Ooh, uh, it just looks like a pillow, glow pillow. Along with the throw pillow. You know, it's... I Really enjoyed the last hour and a bit that I've spent in this funny, cute little world that's been created. I do wish that they hadn't made the animals so cute and then asked you to kill them. That seems, you know, verges on almost cruel a little bit, I guess. It's probably the thing that I enjoyed the least about this game, having to kill cute little creatures. Uh, if they were attacking me and they were vicious and violent and all that kind of stuff, probably find it a lot easier to kill them and, you know, carry on with it. I find the story quite interesting and humorous as well. And I think that it could quite easily keep one gripped and entertained until you get to the end. For me, though, I think I'll probably not keep playing this game. But before I go, I do want to go back and see what's happened with the... Uh, with the egg that we've been hatching. Oh look, that one is ready to burst out. There we go. Wampet hatched from an egg. What does that mean? Name. Oh, we'll call this one Wampy for the first one. Except, oh, look at that little guy. I bet you could even milk it. Juice box, gross, it's just a baby. You know, I wasn't totally joking when I said you should try milking that womp. No, thanks. What? Why would I do that? You've got to take advantage of every resource, every possible resource this planet has to offer if we're going to get these packages delivered. Try putting that milk-tastic beast of yours back in its nest and then feed it some sawgrass leaves. I can't believe I'm going to milk this thing. Less feelings, more milkings. Okay. Not sure how... Wait, wait, wait. 
long nest. Okay, and I want to feed it some. I'm sure I have some sawgrass. So I'm guessing that's feeding it. What's this? Wampet milk. What? Oh, with the right attitude, you can milk just about anything. This comes from a domesticated wampet. Oh, uh. All right. Only because it's part of the mission tree. Oh. That wasn't so hard, was it? I guess not, but what can I do with it? No idea, but we'll probably come up with a use for it eventually. I bet any beast we tame could produce some useful materials. Hopefully useful and tasty. Thanks, my whittle wompity shoopity doo bloop. <laughs> oh, that's you. Yes, it's you. I should boo boo. Hmm. Oh, I thought they could. They would attack us. What's this? Wompit garter. Oh, okay, so it's following me. And then if I was to go and attack something, would they also attack them? Hope they don't die. Hope some, nothing happens to Wompy. So if this is the case, is that enough reason for me to go and kill some of those heifers? Where are the Wompits now? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, gonna try. I'm not going to try attacking those guys. I don't seem to... Have, oh, that's a heifer. No, I just want a regular one. Okay, there's one. Huh. I think that one also attacked. I was a bit distracted to be able to... Yeah, that is so cool. Okay, that is... Oh, right, so that's what these are. These are my followers. That's my little army. Okay. And on that note, I think we can close this episode. Uh, like I said before, I've enjoyed the game. And if you don't mind killing cute little animals to deliver a few parcels then I can highly recommend this game because it is fun and it is engaging and it keeps you occupied and yeah but if you don't enjoy killing cute little animals then mm, maybe not for you that's why it's not for me thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you again next time